TIFU by taking my GF to a nudist beach. So me, 24M, and my GF, 22F, are on holiday in Spain. First time away in a long time and the weather is amazing. There's a nudist beach and she asked to go as we have never been to one before. I don't see the appeal but she has always been spontaneous and adventurous. One of the things I love about her. So I said okay let's go. When I think of a nudist beach. I think of old people. Very rarely do you get a younger demographic. Sadly this time I was mistaken. Everyone seemed younger than 30. In incredible shape with a tan. And a lot of another thing which I don't need to spell out but you can probably guess. I kept hearing my GF gasp and whisper, oh my god. I made up an excuse so we left as my ego was getting battered. But she is annoyed and is now saying she will go back tomorrow without me. A huge foo. Don't go there if you're even a tiny bit insecure. TLDR. Took GF to a nude beach and she was clearly impressed by what she saw there. Leaving my ego shattered. I think you need to talk to her about that like an adult. Insecurity breeds jealousy and if she goes back with or without you. You're likely going to do nothing but assume she's staring at other guys or that she'll hop on it. Talk with her and approach her with a, hey when we went to the beach. This is how I felt and I wanted to see if we can mitigate that. Open a dialogue with her on this. And let he know that your issue wasn't her or other people or anything like that it was going to. That beach a little under prepared mentally. Maybe you two can go again on a less nice day when there's less people. Every person there is there to chill. I doubt anyone's going to say anything to either of you aside from general conversation but if. You're trapped in your own head. Then that's something to get with your girl on and work out together. Edit. Thanks much for the awards friends. Where is the nude beach exactly? Asking for research purposes. A crucial part of nudist beach etiquette is not staring. Gasping and, oh my goading, at what you see around. You both are not ready to hit those places I believe. On a couple's vacation and she wants to strike out on her own to a place that she knows made you. Uncomfortable. That's just cold. Last time I was traveling with someone I loved. Something eerily similar happened and it didn't turn out great to say the least good luck. No prob if my girl is impressed by big dicks. But to go to a beach to look at them and fawn over? Yeah that's just insensitive and serves no purpose. I've never been to a nude beach and I don't think I'll ever go. But I'd feel like it's rude to stare and ogle people like that. Sure. You're going to see things but her reaction is childish and would also make me uncomfortable. People aren't there to be her freak show. Unless maybe they are? Babe I gotta go everyone else's dicks are cooler than mine. I used to go to Gunnison Beach in NJ. It always amused me how aggressive the women were in checking out the men. For example, one woman walking past as I was lounging in a beach chair leaned in for a closer look at my dick. And then made eye contact and gave me a thumbs up. On another occasion a woman who was standing with her husband instructed me to take my shorts off. It was late and I had gotten dressed to leave. So she could check me out. For me, pretty much any time is a good time to see some stranger lady naked. But it seems like for women. 95% of the time they really don't want to see men naked. But when they do want to the really 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 want to. Your response should be, look at her. I'd wear her ass like a hat. Exclamation mark. Quote. She asked to go to the nudist beach. She got excited by all the buff naked guys. She got annoyed when you wanted to leave. She is going back the next day without you? Sorry bud. You know where this is going. And anyone trying to gaslight you by claiming you're just jealous and insecure is doing you a disservice. 
Her going back tomorrow by herself is a red flag. After reading the first part one was just under the assumption you were just a bit insecure. I mean she's definitely seen a bigger dick than yours in the past. They are all over the internet. There's every chance she's been with a bigger dick too. But she's still with you. So obviously she wants to be with you. Sizes and everything thumbs up. Then I read the last part. She wanted to go. She got excited. And moaned when you left. Now she wants to go on her own. Sorry bro person shrugging male sign she wants to see some meaty sausage by herself. Everyone commenting here about, just get over your insecurities, is either delusional about real. Life or tries to gaslight up for the lols. Up, I would feel uncomfortable as well if I were you. That's the natural, rational reaction. You have two courses of action. 1. Talk with her. This is the risky route, depends on how mature she's. 2. The childish route, go to the beach with her and comment on other women and how hot they are. The fact she said she is still going to go without you. On holiday. Says everything. Get out while you can op. And good luck. There's a disconnect here. If you're uncomfortable with the nudist beach thing tell her. If she insists she wants to go back then you're not on the same wavelength. I thought a rule in the nudity community is that you don't check people out. Like people are in a nude beach to relax and not to be a meat parade. IDK. This feels the same as an old man taking pictures of women in bikinis at the beach. People are not there to be sexualizes. They are there having a good time with friends. Your girlfriend is not being very mature. IDK how nude beaches are in Spain but the ones I know. Never been myself but have friends that go to. Have specific rules asking people to respect others. Spain without the S. Yeah dude. Many people have already said so. But don't listen to people who say that it's your problem. It is not. It's the natural reaction not to want your partner to go check on other people so blatantly. It's normal that she's attracted to other men. But she clearly didn't consider your feelings. From the way you speak. It's clear that yours is not a relationship where you both consented this kind of behavior. That's a massive red flag. You don't want to spend your life with someone who puts her thrist over her relationship. So if you want to give her a second chance, you must tell her clearly that this is not something you're going to tolerate and she must start behaving like an adult who thinks about the consequences of her actions. If she doesn't care about your feelings, you must care for yours. Talk to her. Tell her how you feel about it and if she still doesn't respect you and go well then. You might want to give some thought to your relationship. Go with her. Get over whatever insecurities you have. You're allowed to have the same reaction she's having. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.